Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and. Hello, and this is Jad Ashley Spencer, and this is Ardy Brewery, and this is Jad Ashley Spencer's Best Beers. And today we have one that I wasn't really looking forward to, because it's a Wednesday, and this is going to be quite strong. Uh, this is Innocent, uh, Innocent Gun, the original. So, let's take a look at it. So, um... I'm sure it's like, what is it? Uh, Matured Smoothness, Scottish Golden Beer. So it's a single malt whiskey cask, uh, matured. Um, so it says, the original. This beer is a single malt whiskey cask, matured, to unlock natural hints of vanilla and toffee and oak. Um, so it says, on the back, God, uh, the original is a beer to uh, be savoured. It's a single malt whiskey cask matured for smoothness and depth of flavour. Aromas of vanilla, uh, vanilla malt, toffee and some orange marmalade. A touch of oak with a perfect understandness, uh, understatement of bitterness. It is great on its own and paired well with full flavoured foods like seared steak, rich stews, or cheese. Most of these beers go well with steak or cheese, I've realised. Uh, best served with ice cold in an innocent gun glass. Oh, best served with ice. Oh, best served ice cold. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I got it right in the first place. Right, so this is a 6.6. Um, alcohol thing. Right, let's crack open. I don't need this bottle, uh, this cap, because I believe I've got, yeah, I've already got them. Right, let's crack it. There you go. Cap on there. Bottom opener there. Already smell it. You can smell that whiskiness. Slash beer. But, yeah. Right, let's go for the taste test. I, I really don't <laughs> like whiskey. I'm just gonna say that. That being said, it isn't as nice as the the rum one, but it's still it, it's still good. See, I like beer. This tastes more like a lagery type of thing, I'd say. <coughs> but I don't like whiskey, so yeah. But I reckon well, a few of these on a night out would get you absolutely toasted. Like, I, I, I prefer this. <coughs> if I was to go for a whiskey, I prefer this, like a beer whiskey, than a beer Coca-Cola. So that's got to be something. <coughs> that's got to be something, yeah. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Do like pairings, like mix mix alcohols. Like obviously you got snake by uh, black velvet. Is it called? Um, I've completely forgotten the others. And then you got this, and then the other innocent gun. Uh, I'm quite interested. Uh, interested if innocent gun do more flavors. I might have to look into that. I'll do that after this, but. I know it says drink this slowly, but I'm going to drink this all in this episode because it's only a small bottle, so there's no point. I'm, I'm literally going to be wavy. Plus, after this, I need to pack my bag because I'm going Creamfields Festival. Not tomorrow, but the next day. So, yeah, I, I, I've got stuff ready, but I haven't at the same time. So... It's going to be a mad rush to do stuff. 
Ah. This is... I'm not going to say it's really nice because then I've just contradicted what I said. I think it was just trying to get used to the whiskey flavouring first. Wow, that just flew past. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just trying to get used to the whiskey taste because I'm not really into it. I don't really drink whiskey, so yeah. But once you get past that, then you can start tasting it. Uh, with the vanilla notes, um, I mean, you can taste it like a little bit. It is very smooth. Yeah, you, you can taste it quite a little, a little bit. Malty, you can taste that because of beer. <laughs> um, I feel like the toffee and vanilla just go together like perfectly. Like you can't really tell them apart. But yeah. Mm. No, this does. <laughs> this is starting to taste nice. It did say drink it slowly, didn't it? Um. Uh, perfect. Or maybe it didn't. Oh, to be savoured. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally, yeah, I haven't necked it, but I haven't gone slow with it. Right, so after this, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know we're breaking video contact here, but um, I'm going on, a, on another beer. <sighs> I think we're nearly, so we've got Old Hooky, King Goblin, Ubu, and then we're going to start our, um, our Badger Marathon. Like, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different types of Badger beer that I need to get through, and then I'll start my Guinness thing. So yeah, I, I still need to get all the Guinness stuff. So, <coughs> God, that was weird. Maybe before the first fair out, I'm gonna go Tesco's, get the rest of the beers that I need to get. And then um, I'll probably, yeah, so I'll do that before the Badger stuff. And it should work out, it should work out perfectly. So yeah, and then yeah, I'll get the Guinness. So it's just original Guinness, the nitro one. What one's this? This is the, oh, so these, this is the nitro one. I'm sure there's like one called supercharge or something. I might be mistaken, but normal Guinness nitro charge, 0% coffee. Then you have Guinness Porter, Guinness malt, um, hop house, uh, export, um, oh god, there's another one. Guinness Port was either the um, yellow one or the blue one. So it, it, just that one. What one of them? Um, and you got Guinness Original, Guinness Clear, which is water. It's eleven. Um, oh god, I'm sure you. Uh, I'm sure there's another one. I'm just gonna have to look around for them. Like it's gonna be like Pokemon, just going around trying to find different Guinnesses. Yeah, and then that alleged Guinness Supercharge or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's called Supercharge. Yeah, I, I have no idea. So yeah, I, I'm gonna look out for all the different types of Guinness, and um, I'm sure there's twelve in total which is going to be absolutely hilarious trying to run around and find them. <laughs> and then I think off the back of that, I might do, um, does Brewdog have that? Is it Brewdog Black or something? Black and gold? Oh, that, that's what colour the, the can is. And then, yeah, just try some 
was going to say off brand stuff. I, I want to. Uh, I'll go from Br Brewdog and do all them craft beers and all that. A like Brewdog and the other companies. And then I'll complete that. Then go lagers. And then I'll go ciders. I know this is a beer series, but we're going to go ciders because we have to. We can't exclude because that's not nice. So, yeah. All right, let's finish this. And then, um, yeah. And the ciders, I really want to try some of the ciders, like the toffee ones. There's a toffee one, bake or tart. Um, uh, what's it called? The caramelized apple one. What's it called? Toffee apple, that's it. But yeah, I, I want to try all of them. <laughs> but yeah, can't do that before we do these. So we need to do all of these and then we'll go on to that. So yeah, all right. Let's go for the last sweep and uh, we'll give it our score. All right, my score is going to be very controver controversial because um, I said I'm not really too keen on this at the start of the video and now I kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know how it's happened. So it goes excellent, great, good, disgusting. A low excellent, I'm going to say. Um, just because pairing Coca-Cola and like whiskey, I know this is, yeah, it, it just, I'm sure if you actually pair beer and whiskey, it'll taste like crap. But this tastes really nice. You can get the notes in there and just everything. And yeah, mate, I've kind of got drunk off that. So yeah. Anyway, um, this has been Jade Ashley Spencer with Ardy Brewery. And this has been Jade Ashley Spencer's best beers. Uh, Jade Ashley Spencer's best beers? Yeah, something like that. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, check out our videos, and then bye.